This is Stank Rat. He looked dicky. This man is hilarious. He sits in trees, sits in rat spots, and uses leg meta weapons to completely destroy Chads and escape from Tarkov. Yeah, get ratted. I think Stink Rat makes some great content, go to his YouTube, go to his Twitch, show him some love. But there's a lot of people like myself that are very curious on how to get into a lot of spots that he sits in to rat. So that's what this video is. How to rat like Stink Rat himself, the S tier rat and Chad Destroyer. Let's get into it. We're gonna start off on Streets of Tarkov. I'm gonna leave a link to this map down below in the description. But right here on the map where there's trash in between the buildings, we're gonna get on this roof and jump in the tree. This is a very easy jump and will catch a lot of players off guard. So this is spot number one. The second spot is a tree right next to it. Get on the roof the same way, jump in the tree. Easy. This is a high traffic area so you catch a lot of people in and out of this location. And then right across the street, you jump up on the trash, jump on this little half building, jump inside this tree. This tree's a little less expecting, a little bit harder to get into, and the visibility isn't as great, but at the same time, you won't be seen very easily either in this tree. Next spot, we're gonna go on top of the Pomorski building. If you don't have high enough strength, you could use an SJ-1 injector. This will give you increased strength, so you could jump up on this spot and sit in this corner and hold the door. Or you could run across and jump on top of the fan. This is a pretty good angle that you can sit in. Most people aren't going to look up here. And to get down, you just jump right below you. And you find yourself on this little balcony. And again, 9 out of 10 raids, you will not see somebody sitting up here. I'm sure you've never seen anyone sit up here. So go be the first person. Go sit up here. Get some rat and kills. Get them free kits. This next spot is right in front of Check Building. You're just going to jump on the front of this yellow van. And jump inside of this tree. You would think this spot is very obvious, but people look past this. People are so afraid of what's happening, either at Lexus or what's going on inside the building. You can just get a free kill right here. Next, this is right in the back of Lexus. You're going to do some parkour to get up on top of this building. And you're getting get on top of this antenna. Jump across and then you're in this window. You're very high up. Once again, you're most likely never going to see someone up in this position. You could really catch people off guard here. And to get down, it's very easy. As soon as you fall, you want to hold A on your keyboard to quickly hug the wall. And you'll get down safely. This next spot, you want to jump on this shopping cart. And then jump up on top of this light. You can then jump up on this crate. And then jump yourself onto this little canopy. Go on top of this crate and you can prone. And just wait for people to walk in this area. That prone medical building is a spot that people hit a lot. That's a one entrance only. So you could probably pick up a free kill right there. This spot is a very easy spot to jump into. There's not much cover, but you are pretty unexpected. You can definitely catch some players off laying up here. And then it also gives you an access to this window if people are sitting inside of there. And now the prone building that we were talking about earlier, go into the back right corner. If you jump on top of this wheelchair, on top of this blue screen, you could actually jump on top of this gate. You could either sit inside, catch people off guard that prone through here, or you could jump right on top of this garage door and jump in the window. You could set out a bait, whether it's a backpack or a dead body, or just wait for people to run by. But it's a really good spot, very unexpected. People will not expect you to be here. Now there's these tree spots. These are very self-explanatory. One of them is outside of the food store on the way to Sewer River. If a project is successful, that will just be the start. The 
and the other trees all the way down this entire road of the post office you could just simply jump inside of these trees now we're over here on shoreline this is how you camp the tunnel extract this mountain you could literally just run up the side of it for whatever reason, you blend in very well to this rock. You're very hard to be spotted. And you get a great peripheral all over the shoreline. You will definitely see people before they see you. And then you could jump to the side part on the left as well. It seems like this mountain is very lit up, but in fact, this is a very dark corner. And again, you get a very great view of the tunnel extract. And then my favorite spot, this is right outside of the resort. This is a tree. You simply go up to it and you just run up top of it. You want to get yourself as high up on this tree as you can. That's like the bushy part. So you stay hidden. But basically you camp the west side of the resort. Wait for people to get all the loot. They come out. You smoke them. Easy kit. Easy loot. Now we're over here on customs. This is right outside of skeletal. You could actually jump on top of this barbed wire. I would recommend you pop an ETG, which is a green stem. The stem can be pretty expensive. Or you can just jump, you could heal each way, maybe pop a Probotol. It'll get you on top of this crate where most people will not go because it's high risk, high reward type of scenario. But you camp up here, your back is pretty much covered if you sit inside of the crate. You could definitely catch people off and get some free kits. Now we're inside a fortress, jump up on this red wheel. And you could jump inside of this window pane. This isn't super hidden, but it's definitely an off angle people won't expect you to sit in. Get yourself some easy kits. Over here in the smokestack building, run up these stairs and you could jump on these pillars. Pretty much every single one of these pillars are jumpable to be on. This gives you some crazy high ground. Nobody's looking this high. You could top down your enemy, get some free kits. Now we're over here at one of the bunkers. This is an extract, ZB1012. You just run up the back side of the bunker and you can jump on the tree to the left and the right. Each tree has different advantages. You get some pretty good sight. Most people won't expect you to be up here. You're pretty well hidden. And then this is ZB1011, the other extract. This is the most popular extract, probably, at least on this side of the map. Same thing, jump on the back side of the bunker, get yourself in the tree, and you sit factory far corner. You can pick up a lot of kills on those chads, like a real rat, like stank rat. Now this is right in the middle of the map, right outside of pit stop. You can sit on this tree. Or your other option is come over to this little block jump on the wall jump inside of this tree and you get good sight over ruaf this is an extract and a lot of people come through here it's a good choke point most people won't see you here catch a lot of people off guard get some free kills now the final map over on reserve at d2 jump on this red railing and you could jump on top of this little generator box whatever this is you have a good little positioning of the d2 door the tunnel on the left and the right and then the final spot is over at dome at the red rebel extract if you run up these stairs on this little balcony you can hide behind this little metal sign people run past you all the time and then if you see them at the extract you can throw an impact nade at them you can shoot them you could jump on their head whichever is most rattier for you if you guys enjoyed the video please leave a thumbs up if you want more content like this please subscribe i'll see you guys next time peace